Plant a seed. Watch it grow. It will go so much further than you'll ever know. And whether that seed be action or word, whether harsh or kind, its power will be heard. And whether its fruit will bring joy or distress, you are the one who will injure or bless. Good morning, gardeners. Are you ready to get started with your gardens? So before we dive into it, I want to tell you guys about this morning. So sometimes I have good mornings, sometimes I have bad mornings. And the actions that I choose to do when I wake up in the morning can kind of have an effect, a lasting effect on how my day goes. And it's rainy outside, so usually when the weather's all gray and rainy, I feel like this more so than on this sunny, amazing, warm, beautiful days. But I just feel like crap when I wake up, honestly. Even though I got a decent amount of sleep last night. And the tendency sometimes when I wake up is to just lay in bed and get on my phone and scroll on Instagram for a little while. Which is one of the worst things that you can do when you first wake up. Exposing your eyes to the blue light of your screens as the first source of light that your eyes take in in the morning is not a good way to set up the rest of your day. There are lots of days when I get out of bed, I avoid my phone, and I go outside first thing, and I let the natural sunlight, the sunrise, be the first light that my eyes take in. When I do that, my day is usually set up a lot better. I usually have a much better day. So Mother Nature kind of gave me a little bit of a wake up call this morning when I pulled up Instagram to start scrolling. And then I heard this weird kind of like scratching noise happening right outside of my window. I went over to the window to check it out and there was a squirrel gnawing into a nut to have some morning breakfast on my windowsill. And that kind of just like snapped me out of it immediately. I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to set my day up good. I have to get it started. I can't just lay here scrolling. So I sat and watched the squirrel for a little bit. And now I am going to repot some of my seedlings before I had to work for the day. This is a seed starting method that I learned from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Roots and Refuge. And basically, when it comes to planting tomato seedlings, I over plant in each little thing more than one seed for each little spot. There's a lot of concern over roots getting all tangled up and you damaging the roots when they're all growing together. So originally I would just let them go, choose the strongest looking tomato and cut all the rest to not damage the root system. But actually tomatoes are very, what's the word I'm looking for? I've got morning fog and I don't drink coffee anymore. It has been officially a year since I have quit drinking coffee. It was uh, starting to really upset my gut. Having a lot of like stomach issues and stuff because of it. But anyway, I basically can just take these now and separate them all out into their own pots. And when I go to repot them, I will pull off the little seedling leaves, their first leaves and I will plant the stem down as deep into the pot as it will go. So whatever the root cluster system is that's happening, I'll put that all the way down to the bottom. What I'm gonna do is bring a bowl over and I'm just gonna start breaking away the soil. Now it's okay if a little bit of the roots fall off. Tomatoes are resilient. Resilient, that was the word I was looking for. Super resilient. So you just break it all apart. 
and then you'll start to have separate tomatoes. Now I knew this method works because I actually tested it out last summer with my tomatoes. I did the whole plant them all in the same thing and then pull them apart. And they turned out really good, really healthy. So this is not something I'm trying new for the first time right now. So anyway, soil in. Basically, I just put soil into the very bottom. I'm gonna take whatever tomato plant that I decide, pull off the baby leaves, and I'm going to put it all the way down so that the entire stem up to here will be buried into the soil. Check this out. You can see that here, little nodules are starting to come off of these little bottoms of the stems. So when I plant the stems, those little nodules will start happening all up and down this entire stem. So then the root system will be the entire thing instead of just down here, which is better for the tomatoes in the long run. They have a stronger root system. They're getting more nutrients, more water, all of that stuff, a healthy hold into the soil, a good foundation for like dealing with wind and all of that crazy stuff that happens out in the wild. These are pepper tomatoes, which were part of a Christmas gift my friend Devin gave me. They're seeds from her grandma's garden. I've never grown these before. I'm actually really excited about it. So getting ready to repot them and look at this. This pepper tomato had three seedling leaves. Super wild. So it's been five days since I repotted all of the plants and this is what they look like. A little bit of yellowing, a little bit of curling. It's normal to uh, see some of these signs of stress because it is kind of like a stressful thing when you pull them out and repot them. But I like to think of it as a good stress because everything is gonna get a lot stronger now. Their stems are gonna get thicker. They're gonna put out more roots to make sure they're holding themselves into the ground a lot better. And we will have some little guys that don't make it some guys that are struggling. I'm about to water everything. I haven't watered it since I repotted it, it all. So it is all definitely needing to be watered. As you can see, it didn't all die. They're all still here five days later, doing good. Now I'm gonna go in on the uh, pepper plants and I'm going to cut the weaker of the seedlings that are there so that there's only room for one pepper seedling per pot space. So like this guy is the only one who germinated in this pot, but in this one there's two growing. This one's got more true leaves. It's a little bit taller as far as thickness of the stems goes. They're both have the same thickness. So I'm just gonna go on and get rid of this guy. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Pretty soon it's gonna be time to start hardening off my seedlings. And if you aren't sure what hardening off is, I have a video for that linked down below. So one more final update on the seedlings. And yes, I'm wearing my pepper pants again because they're so amazing and I love them. So check these out. They're doing pretty good. All of the stems are significantly thicker. There's obviously small signs of distress, but they're doing pretty good for the most part. The pepper seedlings that I cut down, you can see the, the size difference from what they looked like before. And then these tomatoes up here are doing especially well. Um, I'm gonna have to raise the lights up soon because they're really growing. Their stems are doing really good. They're nice and thick. These are really starting to thrive. 
So that was an update on the seedlings. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doing, do you want to be in this video or not? Okay. We're going to be making some pretty big changes. Oh my. Huh. You good? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, it's you this time. It's you. It's Attempt number 73. I was about to not laugh, but now you're making me think of Snape from Harry Potter and he's... What? <laughs> Attempt number 73. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And with that, peace out, gardeners. Oh my God. <laughs>